Hi, my name is Adam Gidwitz, and I just received in the mail a package with this book in it. It's called Eine Dunkelige und Grimmige Geschichte, which means a donut and grimly something, I think. It happens to look, though, exactly like a book that I wrote in English called A Tale Dark and Grim. I assume it's the same book, otherwise they stole our cover art. The book is based on grim fairy tales. Now, I have to tell you, here in America, most people don't know grim fairy tales. They know a couple. They know Little Red Riding Hood, they know Snow White, they know Cinderella, they know Rumpelstiltskin. That's about it. So, when one day I got a phone call from my school, I'm a teacher, asking me to tell some stories to some second graders, I said, sure, I'd love to. And they said, choose any story you want. I said, great. So I went to my shelf and I picked out this big old book called Grimm's Tales for Young and Old. Then I opened it up to a story called Faithful Johannes. I started to read it. In that story, two children get their heads cut off by their parents, which pff, might be normal for Grimm's fairy tales, but was new to this guy. So I thought, huh. Interesting. Can I read that to second graders, seven and eight year olds? Will I get fired? Let's find out. So, brought it in, I read it to these kids. And um, as I was reading, pretty much every kid had the same face on. Just about that face. So, when I was done, some children ran into a corner and started to cry, but a few kids came up to me and said, that was good. You should make that into a book. And I thought, hmm, maybe I should. So I went home and I started thinking about how I could take the weird, dark, freaky fairy tales that at least nobody in America ever talks about and weave them into one story. And this is what I came up with. Book is about two children, Hansel and Gretel. And they set out into the land of Grimm to try to find some parents who aren't so terrible. You see, I know today our parents never do anything that hurts us or embarrasses us or makes us sad. But once upon a time, this was not true. And so finding parents worthy of their children was no easy task. So that's the story of this book. Um, and I don't know why they changed the title to A Donut and a Grimly Something. But apparently that's what sells in Germany. So donuts it is. Uh, I hope you enjoy, and um, I hope you get nightmares.